and it's lights out and away we go and Bottas gets away very nicely indeed Verstappen alongside Lando Norris Albon and Hamilton going wheel to wheel as Bottas through turn one and Norris goes ahead of Verstappen but off the track also off the track goes Charles Leclerc as well Bottas leads Verstappen's back in second Norris behind him Albon has Lewis Hamilton right alongside him as well and then there's three abreast behind that Perez and Vettel and also Carlos Sainz as into turn three we go and Norris pressurizing Verstappen but having to stay behind. Norris then, he tried to go around the outside. Verstappen was not leaving him any space, but look, he's got a great slip stream. No DRS, no drag reduction system for the first two laps, of course. And uh, oh, it's getting very close. Lewis then, Lewis really struggling in the back of the pack there. And Lewis then with DRS, he's going to be in great shape when it comes to the braking zone of turn four. He might even be in third place, and he is. <laughs> it didn't even need the braking zone of turn four. DRS helping him blast past. Verstappen going slowly, and has he lost power? And he's desperately trying to get power back into that Red Bull. And he's urging it along and moving around in his seat, but is this Verstappen out of the race? I keep saying I can't change it. OK, stand by, Max, for looking. Oh, I keep getting out to slow. Carlos Sainz on Charles Leclerc. The McLaren might have better speed coming up towards turn three. They're going wheel to wheel. Leclerc's on the inside. Carlos Sainz will be his teammate next year and crashes into Sebastian Vettel this year. Sebastian Vettel spun round by the man who's replacing him at Ferrari. Yep, and Leclerc and Sainz teammates next year. I'm sorry, but Sebastian Vettel put his nose into a place it should not be. On Friday, Perez was the second fastest driver as he breezes this past uh, Lando Norris there. Uh, before they get to uh, turn four, Sergio Perez has put the racing point up into fourth place. He was the second fastest driver on the medium tyres. What has happened here to the Williams? Russell was having a very nice race indeed, going along in 12th place. And this is more mechanical issues. Safety car is coming out. Whoa, this is not what Mercedes wanted. Do not miss this last 20 laps. So Alex Albon, who has pitted uh, for a, a set of tyres, the soft compound tyre. Alex Albon is one to watch now at the restart, isn't he? Valtteri Bottas leads as we cross the line and the green flags wave once more. From Lewis Hamilton, Sergio Perez and Alex Albon racing him towards turn one. Then comes Lando Norris and Charles Leclerc right behind him. Behind Leclerc comes Pierre Gasly in the Alpha Tauri. They didn't pit. Ocon didn't pit in eighth. And going wide there was Antonio Giovinazzi. Sainz did pit. He's ninth. Giovinazzi was tenth. Might lose a place to Fiat. As into turn three we go. Lock up there from Perez. Albon goes down the inside. There's a safety car on the track, but not at this moment and they all slow down oh and that's why Kimi Raikkonen's had a massive crash down the main straight right so we're running on board with Sebastian Vettel oh, he's, oh, he's, already he's, off. he's broken already the tyre actually came off the wheel yeah well, well uh, why the tether didn't work because it's not a suspension problem the wheels just oh. plain fella where did that tyre go to Albon's got a slipstream on Lewis Hamilton. He might be in a chance here of overtaking, going into turn three. He's going to have to go the long way round. Perez is having to defend from Lando Norris as well. Great exit from Alexander Albon. He's got the soft compound tyre on. You would expect that. The hard tyre is on the Mercedes. Albon is all over the back of Hamilton, who once again forces in the long way round. Norris goes the long way round on oh Perez. No, and again. Albon again, no, with Lewis Hamilton. And he's lost out once more as it was in Brazil. He comes off second best. Hamilton forced Albon all the way round the outside. This guy is such a failure. The DRS is helping Sainz. It's helping Leclerc as well. Leclerc moves ahead of Carlos Sainz. Sainz is going to fight this one out. Locks up on the inside. They don't touch. Leclerc moves around the outside. Gets a bit twitchy on the exit of the corner, but moves into fourth place. Here goes Charles Leclerc down the inside on Sergio Perez. Go on, that was late. That was brilliant. Charles Leclerc into the podium places as Lewis Hamilton is given a five-second penalty for causing a collision with Alex Albon. And all, if, if we're live on board here, that is Norris and Perez. And Norris has managed to get past Sergio Perez, and it was a bit bumpy going into turn three, but he's managed to do it, and Perez is tumbling down the order. Bottas leads, Hamilton second on the road, but he gets a five-second penalty. Then Leclerc, Norris, and Perez, who also gets a five-second penalty for speeding in the pit lane. 
Lewis is coming back at Bottas now. Oh no, and Daniel Kriat's out of the race. And Daniel Kriat is out of the race and out of harm's way as well. That's a real wheel. The tyre shredded, that's, disintegrated. That's about curb. That's about yeah. running curbs, unless he had, he was quite close to the Ferrari. Well, I, I just wonder if Mercedes want to let Hamilton get past Bottas, give him clear air ahead, and, and, and just, yeah. just go and, and, and extend your advantage. At the moment, they've got about six, seven tenths in hand on Lando Norris, who could finish on the podium yet, because Hamilton's going to take a five second penalty, but that's what they've got to watch for, Mercedes. Yeah. Uh, 71 laps out of 71 here. Uh, chaos and carnage at times, but Valtteri Bottas wins the season opener here in Austria. It is the Mercedes 1-2 on the road, but Hamilton will not keep second place. He gets a five-second penalty. Charles Leclerc, after a miserable weekend, a miserable weekend so far for Ferrari, gets on the podium, and Lando Norris gets on the podium for the first time in Formula One because of Lewis Hamilton's penalty, and by a tenth of a second, Lando Norris is a podium sitter, McLaren are on the podium, and what a start to the season this has been. I don't know about you, Martin Brundle, but I've really enjoyed those 71 laps. Should we do it again next week? Yeah, let's do it exactly again next week. I, I, it's not often I get so engrossed in a race, I didn't even notice it was the last lap. <laughs> well, that makes two of us. All good things come to those who wait, I said a while ago. Well, in terms of racing entertainment, the Austrian Grand Prix today, that was a very good thing indeed.